So we had a nice surprise today in Hiron. Something needed very badly, something I talk about all the time. That's at the Volunteer Fire Department in Hiron. And there might be a little hint here. Also, in whatever title I come up with for this, uh, you'll probably guess. But uh, let's see what happens. Here's your story, let's begin. So here we are at the fire department, uh, the volunteer fire department in Hidome, and these people are waiting, they're checking in, they brought their dogs, there were a couple cats, and um, they brought their dog and $25, uh, the rest is donated. A group of vet students and a veterinarian, one or two vets, uh, came down here and they've offered spade and neuter services. Today they're doing 60 dogs, tomorrow they're doing 30 dogs. And I understand they go around to different towns and offer this service every so often. Hey, here you go. Hi, my name is Kim Curls and I've been here a little over two years. I got involved with the spay and neuter programs when an individual named Inga Palmer had started Happy Dogs. She since has decided it was time to move on and retire and she's retired the Happy Dogs. But we still work, a couple of us uh, and some other volunteers work with the ARCA Association, which does spay and neuters throughout Cuenca and surrounding towns. I came to Ecuador two and a half years ago basically to retire early. Uh, get out of the United States and the hustle and the bustle of it and go into a more laid-back environment where I could uh, enjoy the roses and the rivers and the smells and the sounds and the people and uh, but I always wanted to contribute and this is the way I've decided I could contribute that I could work with the people here and uh, basically we do whatever we can we work with vet students veterinarian students um, we hear do, I do post-op one, sometimes I work post-op two. We also have where we wash surgical units for the doctors as they're working. And uh, that's what I enjoy doing, and we do it about every two weeks now. So I've been really enjoying being here and being able to contribute and give back. Nice. Thank you. That was awesome. So this is really good news for me. This will be 80, 90 dogs that won't be having puppies, that won't be running up and down the road and barking and keeping me awake at night and doing the background noise for these videos. Now, we don't have a big problem here in Head Home, but this is going to go a long way to head it off. I'm Leslie. I've lived in Ecuador for four years. I live in Cuenca. I came here with my husband and my youngest son, and we came here to retire because we like South America. And the people here are wonderful. They're very friendly. The government's wonderful. Uh, 
Uh, the weather, you can't beat it. It's uh, sunny. Well, you have all four seasons in one day. So it's uh, great weather. Uh, I live in a totally Ecuadorian neighborhood, but my Spanish is not up to par. I'm taking Spanish lessons. And I'm here today at ARCA volunteering with the Spay and Neuter Clinic. And I have, um, I adopted a dog from here and a cat and another dog that's three-legged. You know you could 